Hi, my name is Chris Hood. I'm with Fox. Um, I think the theme that we're hearing across all of the presentations so far is really how do you build new experiences. Those experiences come at different levels for different companies and organizations, whether it's an experience in the park, whether it's an experience at a retail, whether it's an experience at a city. How do we connect people to content and to those experiences that we want them to engage in? And we're doing that at Fox too, right? We have content in terms of television shows and um, shows like American Idol where people are very passionate about what they're watching and they want to engage in that. But it's no longer about just sitting in front of a TV for us anymore. It's about how we connect that and allow those viewers to engage in new ways on really any device. And we're no longer talking about the devices in our pockets or on our computers or um, on our TVs even. We're talking about devices that are connected to our cars, um, connections to <coughs> bands, connections to our refrigerators, right? Everything around us now is being connected. And really what the power of the API is, it allows us to extend our experiences and the content that we want our customers to engage in in new and unique ways. So I think earlier we were talking about streets and legacy mess. This is really a good example of that. Um, you know, when I first started at Fox, we had multiple content management systems all driving different aspects of the website, all working on different pieces, and, and even in some cases where you see over here, like one CMS would just manage a couple of devices and another CMS would manage other devices, and then we were trying to map things in and just make it work. It really wasn't helping us. Um, so we had to start looking at things in a different way. How do we not only understand this, but clearly this is not giving us a good user experience along the way. Um, and so, hopefully this works, but yeah, we never know. Yeah, it doesn't work. Um, you gotta love technology. Um, basically, Homer saying, what the heck is going on? Um, so we started to look at it a little differently. How do we merge these paths, right? How do we bring these all together um, and, and kind of centralize it so that there is a standard way of communicating between all of our devices? They can still have unique experiences, but we at least needed to figure out a way that the communication became standardized. So as you see, connecting our CMS directly into Apogee and then allowing Apogee to output to webs consistently or to our devices consistently. That was the first step for us. This is kind of where we are at now, um, allowing us to basically build one giant platform, one framework that could manage all of the other platforms that we connect to. So if we wanted to actually show who the top 10 candidates or contestants on American Idol are on your refrigerator when you wake up in the morning, we can do that. <laughs> um, it also gives us some really unique, unique aspects. Again, these, these things aren't um, state of the art, but uh, things like resume play. I'm, I'm not sure if anybody's heard of the term TV everywhere. It's this concept, which again is, I want to be able to watch TV everywhere. I want to be able to watch TV on my phone, on my computer, on my television. And in order to do things like that, um, how do, we, how do we connect those devices? And so through Apogee, we're able to connect those devices so that you can begin watching one show on one device, pause it, go home, turn on another device, and resume watching wherever you're at. Same thing with loyalty. If I do one action on one device, I can uh, create unique experiences that allow us to engage those users and then be able to share that engagement across to other devices. And, and Homer's saying he likes that. <laughs> <laughs> Although he doesn't like the peas and onions. <laughs> and anyways, this doesn't work too well without audio. <laughs> so I said, well, let's not just 
stop there. What else can we shove into Apogee? And the reality is, is everything. Right? We can shove in not only our content, but unique video feeds, loyalty programs, you know, device linking, a recommendation engine, so that now we're actually engaging in real time with the user based on what they're doing, where they are, what they want to accomplish, and give them unique content based on that individual input. Um, same thing with voting. I can vote here, I can vote there, and I can you know, accumulate that across all of our platforms. Um, so it is a internet of things. It is an experience that we're uh, engaging our users, and we're able to leverage that for unique experiences across the devices. A good example is we have um, our content on Xbox. Well, clearly the Xbox platform is much different than, say, your uh, television set. But through a loyalty program or through Resume Play, I can now begin watching something, engage in something on my Xbox, get reward points, share those reward points back to my Xbox, unlock functionality or features within my Xbox, and then be able to you know, get those same features back on my television. Yeah. <laughs> Here they're saying he wants to subscribe to a newsletter. <laughs> I'm serious, it's way better than I <laughs> One of the things that we try to accomplish, at least for myself, is answering three basic questions. For every technology that we introduce, how can we monetize, analyze, and market using that technology. And with Apogee, we can do all of these. We can market across platforms in unique ways, loyalty programs, etc. It has a very in-depth analytics system, so now we can answer questions like who, what, where, when, how are they accessing our content? And of course, all good business is trying to monetize. And with this, we now can do cross-platform advertising, we can do customizable advertising, we can, we can aim people at the content they want to see, which generates additional viewership, um, so which is the TV everywhere. Basically, all of this is accomplished by shoving everything into Apogee and allowing Apogee to kind of allow us to manage this across all of our platforms, all of our devices, and connecting our users to new experiences. Talking about legacy, that's too long. When I saw Michael's title as senior director of Repair Solutions at Intel International, I immediately thought Repair. He must be talking 